important. Very important. <laughs> this lady right here is very important. And he, she is here to show us how to make a tasty south of the border shrimp dinner in under 30 minutes or less or money back guarantee. <laughs> she is a culinary superstar and our very good friend, Susan Fenneger. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 30 minutes, I think like two minutes. Okay, I, love, I know, shrimp goes fast. Okay. Joining Cam at the counter, Nick said he is not leaving <laughs> unless he tastes Susan's shrimp. So Good here he work. is and her Nick. red rice. And Orly said the same thing. So yeah. you guys dig in. Okay, this is a beautiful you. meal. So Susan, this is something that you discovered on one of your many trips to Mexico years yes. ago, though. Working very, very hard, <laughs> laying on the beach. Ha, you know, I mean, we got up and walked a little bit okay, and went tough. past a stand where they were like, had this big pot full of slow cooked garlic and then they were grilling shrimp and mm. then like fresh limes. It was oh like, goodness. oh my God. Look at that. Yeah, it was so yummy. Oh, look at the spice. Look at how spice young market? we look. Oh, I don't know. Why? Oh my gosh, your babies. <laughs> yeah. So really the star of the show is the garlic. Uh, the garlic and the ancho chilies. We added the ancho oh, as nice. sort of a twist in there. Okay, so we start with so, very thinly yeah, sliced garlic. Cameron sliced these all morning. Oh, yeah. well done, Cameron. Really, good. <laughs> really great <laughs> job you did on yep. that. Amazing. Very talented. I didn't know he was such a good He's cook. He's really good, really? Susan. You'd be impressed. Yeah. <laughs> so it's in olive oil, but we don't want to brown it, right? So we're just taking this slivered garlic in there, and, you know, oh, Cameron will come to your house, right, to do, do it. it for you. That's I'll smell. put all you of them in there. Put it all in there. So we're just, now we don't want it to burn. If it starts to brown, it gets bitter. Okay? Yeah, that's right. So we're just putting it in there for a little bit. Is it starting to already? Yep, I think it's good. It's going fast. So not much time. You can put it on lower heat, but Cameron put it up too high. I, I mean, oh. you can't be trusted. I tried to set the kitchen how up quickly? Yeah. You guys I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't how know. How quickly she's turned on you. You I'm did a good sure. job yeah. slicing. I know. But... I don't know that he should be on the cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. But it really was fast. That was incredibly right. fast. Yeah, that was. So quick. You don't want it to burn. Okay. okay. So while I've set aside. Salt pepper my shrimp for me, will you? Just the top layer. And you will cut the ancho. So ancho chili, this this is a poblano pepper, which is a green pepper, but but it's a chili with a little bit wider shoulders and darker and spicy. Okay. So I'm gonna just do this and take the seeds out, okay? Right. So you, you want just, the seeds out of there because it's right. That's where all that heat is, right. and this is dried. So this is just a dried poblano pepper. You could do it with any chili, but I love this. And by the way, you can find these at the market now yeah. with all of the seeds already out. Yeah, well, good. Yeah, Not that that's that hard. Now. Okay, you want a julienne there? And you probably, now that I think about it, they probably charge you four more dollars to take the seeds out. So you know what? Don't listen to what I said. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Do they have, um, do the chilies that are dried have the same, like, potency like, on your hands? Like, do you need to be as careful? Not as, but they do have, they still, unless they're so dry, like, stale, yeah. that all the oil's gone, the oil is quite chilly. Yeah, don't cut your fingers off, please. <laughs> Okay, so I want to get this up high, which it isn't quite, but I'm going to add the salt and pepper shrimp go. in here. What kind of oil's in there? A little bit of olive oil. Okay, great. So we'll just do a few of those. That's probably enough because okay. these guys are eating. Okay. Now. So we're sauteing the shrimp in there. And those go quickly, too. Yeah, they do. So we're going to do those, and at the same time, I'm going to take this ancho chili that you cut up very perfectly. Thank you. Put it in there. And then what I want to do is release the oil. All right. So I want to start to get this a little bit while the shrimp's cooking. The anchos are going to, all the flavors right. coming out into the oil. Exactly. Right? Where it's all going to come together. Yeah. And so then we're just going to, you know, you can flip it like that. Oh, I'm so impressed, Susan. Okay. Yeah. Well, I tried to impress you. You did a great job. <laughs> and then, okay. So that, you make this really quick. We're going to add a little bit of clam juice or fish stock in there. You can see this is going to cook very, very quick. We're going to add our garlic back in. Okay, you've got that. There you go. Give me a little bit of lime juice in there. Now, I want to just tell you this one thing when you guys are squeezing lime at home. Roll it. Cut it like this. Take a fork like that. Squeeze it in. Oh, what a great idea. Good idea, right? Oh, man. Yes. And you'll look like a pro if you, you do will. it like that. And you, you just got you so much juice, juice out of that. Well, you yeah. get all this juice. What are, why the like lime juice doing? What does the lime juice do in there? You know, it balances the richness of the ancho and the olive oil and the garlic. The lime gives it a really good balance. Nice. It brightens so, it a little bit and almost makes it feel like light. 
doesn't like, it? Yeah, like when you're laying on the beach and you don't want to be eating heavy. too heavy food and yeah. you're having your margarita. That's right. what the lime does yeah. in there. Okay. But then yeah. we I'll go there. The butter but then, to yeah. counteract that lime. Well, okay. I like to add a little <laughs> butter in there. Now, you don't have to, but I like I to add should. a little bit of cold <laughs> butter and that thickens the sauce a little bit. Why cold? Cold because if you don't, it just melts. If it's cold, it actually makes binds the sauce. You can see how you get a little bit of body there. Wow. See that? Okay. See how if it's if it's soft butter, it'll just melt and you'll have a greasy. Look sauce. how beautiful that is oh, and how quickly that came yeah. together. Right? I said 30 minutes, but literally this took us. Oh, I don't know about six. Yeah, you're serving it with some delicious greens. Look at these. Yeah, and the red rice. Can okay, you explain you do to that. everyone? Okay, explain to everyone what red rice is. Okay, so red rice in the Mexican kitchen is you. Brown the rice in oil, raw rice in oil. Then you take, you can do a store-bought tomato sauce or make one, and then cook the rice in the tomato sauce. Right. It's very different than taking white rice and adding tomato sauce. Exactly. And then this Never is the same. sautéed mustard greens because I love mustard greens. They're like my favorite green. Just Delicious. cut it in little strips called chiffonade. They're so, it's, they're so good for Sauté you. in a little bit of butter. There Look you go. Oh. Salt and pepper, and they're like the perfect flavor for this. Then you just take your shrimp here. Look at this. Oh, With all that seriously. sauce. Now, while you're plating this, I want to talk about Vegas Uncorked. I know you're going to be cooking there. Very it's coming up very soon. Very excited. In May, Vegas Uncorked. We're doing three big events. It's a big food and wine event it's gonna be so that fun. we're doing with Border Grill at Mandalay Bay. Yep. And there's the grand tasting and then on Saturday, May 11th, we're doing a picnic in the park, but the most exciting is we're going to be smoking on the patio with Susan Feniger, <laughs> our new barbecue Mexicana concert. Where we're not really smoking. Oh, my God. No, we're not smoking. Like, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean that. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Go it, it, I like the double entendre. It sounds all cool, it but you're really so cooking. Cool. You got me yeah. for a second, Susan. <laughs> well, it could be. Have a taste. Have a taste. Yeah, this full Susan, recipe, this so amazing what do you full think? recipe will be available amazing. on HallmarkChannel.com. Connect with Susan on her social media as well. And be sure to tune in to the premiere mm -hmm. of a Brush With Love with this guy right here. It's on Saturday oh. night, 8, 7 central, right here also on Hallmark Channel.